Working on documents is about three things, order, convenience, and security. DocHub covers them all. DocHub simplifies PDF editing, signing, sharing, and form completion, making it easy to get your documents done from anywhere for free. Since its launch in 2014, over 83 million users have placed their trust in DocHub, including individuals, small businesses, and schools all around the globe. Easily edit, annotate, and collaborate on PDFs from desktop or mobile. Stay productive from anywhere by working on documents directly from your Chrome browser, Gmail inbox, Google Doc, Google Classroom, and more. Tweak your document to perfection by adding, rearranging, merging, or deleting pages. Sign your documents electronically and collect signatures in minutes. Build fillable PDF forms and publish them online to collect data or get even faster results with reusable templates and securely share your documents via email, fax, or a public or personal DocHub URL. DocHub complies with every major industry-specific security standard and provides users with encrypted web storage and a detailed time-stamped audit trail. It's time to simplify the way you work with documents forever. Learn more by joining the millions of DocHub users today. Hello everyone, welcome back to IT Plus Accounting Solutions channel. And today we'll have an essential tutorial video for anyone who works with data. We will be learning how to import data from text or notepad file into Microsoft Excel. This skill is incredibly useful for tasks like data analysis, reporting, and more. So let's dive right in. So firstly, what you need to do when you need to import text file or data from Notepad is you need to ensure that your text or Notepad file is well-structured. So you'll notice that I have a Notepad file open with the customer invoices that we're going to import into Microsoft Excel. So to make sure that your data is well structured, you need to make sure that your data as appearing on, on the screen is well organized and that it's separated using common delimit delimiters like your commas or tab. So in this case, you'll notice that I have a list of invoices that I need to import onto Microsoft Excel. Firstly, you'll notice that at the, the first column, the first row right there, um, indicates the header. So in our header, we have the date, we have the customer, we have the reference, description, until analysis code right there. So you'll notice that my data right there has commas. These commas are important because they will be our delimiters. In Microsoft Excel, they will be used in order to separate the columns. So where there is a comma there, there will be a column. So we'll import um, the data of customer invoices as I have already alluded as appearing on the screen into this particular Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. First of all, don't forget to save your workbook so that you avoid any data losses. So now let's dive right in into how to import um, your text files or data from Notepad. So first of all, um, what you need to do, you need to go to your data tab when you're on Microsoft Excel. So you'll open, you'll notice that I'll go to tab. When I get to tab, um, I'll go to, sorry, data tab. And then I need to hover over to this particular group right here. Then you have a choice whether you go and import from that particular from text CSV or you can click on get data and then you click on from file and then you click from text or CSV. Then I'll um, locate my text data. So this is the data that we're going to import into Microsoft Excel. Once I locate my file, then I'll click on open. 
I'll click on import. So now you'll notice that this is the data that, that will be imported into this Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. And the delimiters that I was talking about right there, you need to go and select the correct delimiter that you used in your particular text file. So you'll notice that in this case, we have commas. So meaning our delimiter is a comma. Then I'll just go and click on load once I affirm that everything is in the right order. Then there is my data um, imported onto Microsoft Excel. So you can go and practice this using different types of delimiters. And then um, what you can do now, um, you can just um, format your data according to how you want to format it using um, the features of Microsoft Excel. So to wrap things up, we have successfully learned how to import data from text file into Microsoft Excel. This skill can be a game changer for your data related tasks. Practice it and you will be more proficient in no time. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking this video, leaving a comment and subscribing for more informative tutorials. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask in the comments below. Until next time, happy data importing. for watching. A like would be appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe.